So you booted up Kali Linux, ready to do some hacking or some matrix stuff. I don't know what to do. Uh, so you get on to login, then you realize, oh no, you forgot your password. You forgot your cash dang password. You had one job, that's to remember your password. Well, now before you go deleting everything and reinstalling Kali, wait. There is a way to reset your root password and your user passwords and it's fairly simple. You just have to be patient and make sure not to mistype anything. So while you watch this video, make sure you watch it through and please do not skip anything because if you skip a vital step, your system will like you will regret it. So anyway, so this is our screen. So this is the virtual machine which I am using now. Uh, don't worry, this method does work with an actual install. Uh, I'm showing this in a virtual machine just because it's convenient and it's easier to let you uh, see what you will be getting into. So as you can see, it's asking for my credential. So let's say uh, for some reason uh, we forgot our password. So we're like, uh, what could this be? Hmm. So you're typing away and well, as, <laughs> as the video title says, you actually forgot your password. Now to reset this, the first thing we need to do is get to the re recovery stage. Now in Kali, the recovery means getting into the kernel itself. So to do that, first we need to get to the grub loader. So the grub is like uh, the bootloader of Kali Linux. So it loads the kernel. So we'll click restart and then do restart. Now while this is restarting, when you get to grub, hit the down arrow to stop the counter. Now if you don't know there was a counter here that counts down if you don't do anything. Just hit the down key and stop that counter. And after you do that, what you need to do is press E. So when you press E, you should see a window like this one right here. Now, in most color distribution, this is the same. So then, what you need to do is look for a line that has the Linux in front of it. So, it will be this line right here. This one that says Linux. Now, you are looking for this because, well, you need this. And this is the, uh, how we tell the kernel to do something. So then, uh, when you're here, just hit the right key and keep going until you reach the point where it says RO or RO, right here. Now, as you can see, this says RO right here and RO means read only. That means you can only read to this kernel. Now, we want to write some stuff to it. So what we'll do is change this O to a W. Now this converts the method to read write. So we can read as well as write to the Linux kernel itself. So after you are uh, done with this, now if you have something different right here, uh, don't worry about it because it doesn't matter much. You just need this one. And then what you will do is get to the end of the line and hit space one space and then what you need to do is type this command right here now make sure you do not make any mistake so that will be in it equals slash bin slash bash now what this does is by default it will boot into the bash terminal or it will boot the bash because we are telling it that well when you are running the kernel or you are starting it run this command as soon as we boot up. So what this will do is run the bash terminal. Now after you have set this up what you need to do is press F10. And then just hit enter and it will boot. 
Now remember this will not boot your system, it will boot into a bash terminal. So yes, we need to type some terminal commands. Well, if you are using Kali Linux, you should be like used to the terminal. So now here you can see it says root at, at the last line it says root at none and we have a blinking cursor that means we can type stuff here. So if we want to change the root password which I do not recommend if you are uh, if you are using as root then well you can change it but I do not recommend changing the root password too much or using as root by default so if we want to change the root password that is fairly simple we can just do p a double s pass w d so this is just password and when we click this it will ask for a new password and make sure you can remember this one because if you forget this you'll have to do this all over again and then uh, let's just type in a new password let's say uh, uh, let's just do a password search. Then retype it. And then, as you can see, this says password updated successfully. That means your root password is now reset. Now, what if you want to change the password of a user? So, that is all of also fairly simple. Uh, you can just type pass and the username so I have a user called Kali oops Kali and I would like to change the password to that so as you can see it will ask for a new password again and we'll just type password and it is the password is updated successfully and now uh, the weird thing is there is no uh, obvious way to get out of here what you just have to do is just reboot your machine and you can do this if you're using virtual machine then you can just do it here and just click this one and it will oh no sorry <laughs> uh, we can just uh, close this and this will give us the option of the uh, powering of the machine and then we click this okay and now our machine is powered off after the PC shuts down or the virtual machine shuts down, uh, we kind of have to restart it. And if you're using a PC, there is a restart button on the case. So you can press that. Then if we start this, everything should work just normally. And if we click enter, uh, this will boot up Kali normally. And every settings or everything that we changed in the graph has been forgotten. So it's almost like we were never there. So give it a bit. And there we go. So now uh, let's see if we can log in to our user. And then. Now there we go, the password has been reset. Now if you are unsure about this and you have a dual booted machine, I would recommend uh, using a simple virtual box just to test out if you are doing everything correctly. Or you can just go for it because you live only once. And that's how you reset a password that you have allegedly forgot. So if you like this video and would like more tutorials like this, like this video. Subscribe and let me know in the comments down below. Bye.